The dream of venturing beyond our solar system brings with it a haunting question. Can humans survive the invisible onslaught of interstellar radiation? In deep space, away from Earth's magnetic field and atmosphere, a constant storm of high-energy particles known as cosmic rays races through the void. These rays, born from dying stars and distant supernovae, move at nearly the speed of light, capable of slicing through metal, electronics, and DNA. Unlike the gentle sunlight that warms our skin, these rays carry enough power to damage the very blueprint of life. Prolonged exposure increases the risk of cancer, degenerative tissue disease, and neurological damage, altering brain function in ways we barely understand. Solar flares pose another threat. Erupting from the sun without warning, they release torrents of charged particles that can engulf a spacecraft in minutes. Inside Earth's orbit, astronauts aboard the International Space Station are protected by our planet's magnetic shield. But the moment we aim for Mars or beyond, we step out into open fire. Shielding becomes a critical challenge. Conventional spacecraft walls offer little resistance against galactic cosmic rays. Least though dense is heavy and impractical. Instead, engineers explore advanced materials, hydrogen-rich plastics, water layers, and even magnetic fields, hoping to simulate Earth's natural defenses. Some spacecraft designs propose embedding crew quarters within tanks of water or fuel to absorb radiation. Others look toward active shielding, generating artificial magnetic fields or using plasma to deflect particles. But these technologies are still in early stages, unproven under the harsh conditions of deep space. The radiation environment on Mars, while less intense than the void between planets, still poses long-term risks. Unlike Earth, Mars lacks a global magnetic field and has a thin atmosphere, meaning settlers would need to live underground or in heavily shielded habitats to survive. Ultimately, surviving interstellar radiation isn't just a technological hurdle. It's a test of human adaptability and resilience. Each strategy we develop brings us one step closer to becoming an interstellar species. But until shielding can match the ferocity of space, the dream of journeying to other stars will remain a dangerous ambition, teetering on the edge of possibility and peril. The cosmos beckons, but it does not make survival easy.